Oh, I never know how to fucking start these. Oh, <laughs> I've said the thing. We're not even 30 seconds in. Ugh. And low cuties. <sighs> well, let me back into it. Yep. Well, I timed that perfectly. And low cuties. Mini here. Figured I'd record something quick and do some maelstrom dive. You have been escorted. So yeah, how y'all doing? It's a mini. Uh, currently like 3.45 in the morning. It's a lovely Wednesday evening. I wasn't able to stream today. Uh, my ISP decided to, to just say no. Which was incredibly annoying. No bitrate. No nothing. So. Yeah. At least I'm using the time. Ugh. I have to remember how to do this. Like, how, how do I talk to... How do I talk to a recording without, like, you know, having anything to interact with? I don't do this YouTube thing, but I figured, you know what? So, joining me on the carrier, just a couple minutes before launch, currently, I can open up the uh, nav panel, go into galaxy map, currently in a uh, kiosk Kerber, kiosk Kerber, kiosk Uber. Popping over just around here. It's the thought at the moment. Because we're gonna be poking in there. In just a minute or so, you'll be uh, introduced to our ship for this evening. This is always worth sharing. It's always, you know, the jump's always so good. Attention. I'm gonna shut up. We may, yeah. We are now free to walk about the cabin. I made the mistake of, uh, 
joining a private group rather than solo. Friendo dropped in. I was like, oh wait, no, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to do recording. It happens. Oh yeah. Our ship for the evening, our little maelstrom diver. Tuned, outfitted for Thargoids. Not quite Thargoid combat, but being cold, being quick, getting in and out of situations. It's a great little blockade runner and I love the ship so much. Right. Can we do one jump to? Yes, we can. Nice. No, I have an empty inventory. Okay. I'm gonna have to fill that up. Because we need limpets for what we're going to do. Might as well fix up while we're here. Limpets. Confirm. So yeah, welcome aboard Leveret. It's a Zergon Peterson Monda, obviously. We've got it more or less fixed, fit up with um, as cold of a power plant as you can get. Like, this thing is chilly. Um, lightweight sensors, big FSD. Um, most everything is fairly, like, engineered up. Not, like, completely. Could be better dirty drive and such, but I think it works out pretty pretty well as it is. We're probably gonna get hyperdicted on our way in, so we'll have to be ready. And then I have a counter. How many times do we get interdicted on our way through through the system? It's gonna be good. Uh oh. Yeah, that's smooth. We're getting hyperdicted. Always worth checking because it's like, oh, is that just a normal Thargoid or is that a uh, lathe? Yeah, there it is. There's, there's the wibbles. You never get double hyperdicted, I've noticed, which is really nice. environment. It 
And yeah, we have the in-game music on, which is... Mwah. Still don't quite know what to do for, uh, for music on YouTube videos. Whether it's like using Justin Johnson music or, you know, listening to Synthwave or something. I don't, I don't really know. I'm going to err on the side of caution though and stick with just in-game music. on how long it takes us to get there. It's taken us over an hour once to get to get to the maelstrom because we got near addicted like 11 times? It was it was ridiculous. And I don't have any editing skills. So you get to sit here and suffer with me. I mean I would, you know, be kind and you know speed it up and you know and give you a nice fast forward. But I don't have that skill yet. Maybe Future Mini can go and do that. But, well, maybe one day. zero. Okay, that was a normal interceptor, I think. build a maelstrom diver. You want to go in and get into one of these. What do you want to do? You want to make sure you don't have any guardian modules on your ship. The system just eats them. I mean any guardian modules. Whether it's hull reinforcements or guns, you don't want any of those. They'll be rendered useless. Um, glaives render those useless too, which is really annoying. You want some kind of guns to keep yourself safe. Because you're inevitably going to run into a glaive and you're probably going to have to fight your way out. You want something quick. Um, I chose the Mamba because it's pretty good. Number three. Didn't even get to look. Oh well. But yeah. Something quick. Something small. You kind of you don't want a large ship. I really don't think you want a large ship. You want something that can land on the outposts, because those might be the only things you're able to land on. There's a lot of small systems out here that you know they only may have one station, and that's you know a medium pad at the largest. Um, you don't need an awful lot of range. Um, you don't necessarily need a fuel scoop. However, you know, be very, very careful. Know what you're doing. 
There's another one. So rude. But yeah, like, this build, for example, I've gone with the Mamba, obviously. Um, grade 4 Dirty Drives. Um, We need we need a counter for how many times I've I've attempted to, to discuss the subject before I've been so rudely interrupted by the bugs. serving as practice, honestly. Um, because what you want to do, if you get interdict interdicted by a glaive, hit, um, you want to hit silent running as quickly as you can. We're just going to hit this. And in we go. So a ship that's relatively quick, you want the Cossack sink launchers. Those are going to take a bit of work, and you actually have to come into the maelstroms and, you know, blow these things up. The the jacks near the the caustic like mines or whatever they are. You need a ship that has a relatively good amount of utility points, at least four. unexpected. That was the first time that ever happened. just about out of the Cossack field. And there it is.
thumbnail shot right there. <laughs> So yeah, you want to dive into the maelstrom. You need a relatively quick ship. You need something that's very cold. You want at least four utility slots on that ship. So you have a pulse neutralizer, you have your caustic sinks, you're probably going to want some heat sinks, and, you know, maybe a pulse wave analyzer or something like that. The Thargoid pulse analyzer. We've got a bunch of limpet controllers on here as well. I've got just a very small um, collector limpet controller. And then a 3A uh, Xeno limpet controller. What we're going to do here is we're going to come in. Uh, in. Right in against its hull. Let ourselves cool down a little bit. And that will help too. Turn on night vision. Spent the other day just vibing out in here. It took me a little bit to realize that this is basically just a, uh, just a fucking mining analyzer. <laughs> like, that's all this is. Small bunk. All you need is just one little bit. Nothing more. And these boards just kind of come in. Okay, that's not generating anything. Sometimes they're a little bugged, which happens. I think one of them saw me thermally. If we just hang out for a minute, it should go quiet again. You just gotta stay calm. <laughs> they don't know you're here. It's kind of beautiful that way. You are not here. That's all you gotta... You know?
cord is shut. What are they up to? Where am I even? Okay, I'm just like on a ridge. It's so hard to see where you're going in here. Oh, okay, there's the middle. There's a horse hole surface. Okay. Hopefully it's on the right side. Doesn't seem... pockets. These are really nice because they're pretty well hidden. They give your limpets quite a bit of room to move. And so you just open your cargo scoop. Target the limpet point. And fire. Let it go.
Oh, the atmosphere in, in here is just gorgeous. It's... Ooh. It feels naughty being in here. This is a mamba. This is not a small ship. By any means. And we're just in this, like, slot here. The folds, if you will. For lack of any better way to put that. By the way, of course, if you're enjoying the video, maybe consider subscribing. Uh, or maybe, you know, go and follow me on, uh, follow me on Twitch. You can find me at the very, very simple link of benui.gay, b-n-u-y.gay. Pretty easy. Twitch.tv slash mini Celeste. That works too. Uh, mini Celeste TTV on, twi on Twitter before Melon Husk kills the platform. Research limited. Successful. Looks like we'll probably get one more limpet on that. Just that thing every few minutes. Every, every like, couple of minutes, it just does that, that like, honk, and then, you know, starts venting. The only downside is running a shieldless build. You could probably get away with running shields, but like, shields just generate heat. And you're gonna want to have a really strong hull anyway, so...
you don't want to stay here. The devs have been given some, uh, just to give an idea of, like, where we are in time at the moment. Uh, the devs have given some sneak peeks of update 16. It looks like there's more Thargoid Hunters on the way. Whatever those are supposed to be. We already have the Glaive. I don't know what the next one's supposed to be called. I can't remember. don't know if they gave a name or not. All tissue of points. Ooh. Ooh, Gold in that. But they're showing a uh, a glaive out and about with um, some sort of Thargoid style limpets. It was very, very interesting. I am honestly wondering what what we're gonna see in the future with these because at the moment all we can really do is you know mine it for resources in, in a funny way um you, you of course get this really neat stealth gameplay which i'm really enjoying the the whole bit of like you know i'm hidden they don't see me i am a fly on the wall Really kind of cool. But maybe we'll actually be able to fight them soon. You can kill the turrets that pop up. It's, they've got like these these um, dual fire turrets, like fire missiles and such. But like you can kill them, but they like drop down, wait five seconds and come back up. Like they just heal immediately. So there's no point. Maybe we'll see a new suite of weapons or something to deal with them. Maybe something of that ilk will come out. Maybe we'll have new things to use the, the bits for. 
getting in here though is, is hard enough and I would really like to see that cost to, cost of entry to come down because caustic sink launchers are hard to get um, if I remember correctly you have to unlock each of them with with bits it's not like a one and done you have to just is it a one and done I can't remember I am interested to, interested to see like what we get to do with these. Do we get to fight them? Do we get to, you know, do we get even better like ship modules or something? What is left of planning? But yeah, you need a fairly like thought out ship build for these. You need some sort of hull reinforcements, um, ideally. You could go for really high power shields, but shields generate heat, and that's ill-advised. Really ill-advised. You want a ship that's cold. If it's below if it's below twenty percent heat, you're gold. Um, the uh, the enhanced AX weapons are great. I really recommend the AX the enhanced AX multi cannons. I've got them paired with a. a couple of small um turreted uh you know thermal vent beam lasers helps the ship stay cool and like i said you want to ship with at least four utility, utility slots. That's the reason I took the Mamba in the first place, because that has six. So I was able to take two Caustic Sink Launchers, two Heat Sink Launchers, um, the Thargoid Pulse Neutralizer, or, yeah, the, the Maelstrom Pulse Neutralizer, and then a uh, Titan Pulse Analyzer, or whatever it's called, the, the newest thing. And then the biggest thing, especially if you're going to be collecting these tissue samples, you need a, uh, you need a caustic, you know, there it is, anti-corrosion carbon rack. <laughs> it's 4.30 in the morning, don't you know? 4.30 in the morning, my brain's not, you know, quite firing on cylinders. But that's why you subscribe to me. That's why you watch me. That's... It's so weird to be out here just like... Just vibing. They, they don't know. They don't see. I'm literally just like under their fucking noses. It's great. And people say this is a dead game. <laughs> Like, I know, I know, there, there are many, many, many criticisms of Loot Dangerous. I could go on for a while, but like, I definitely would not say it's bland.
I am really looking forward to see what Starfield brings, though. To be quite honest. Really, really looking forward to it. Because I've needed a new, like, single-player obsession. How many of these do I have left? Two limpets. I'll probably just use them both as repair limpets and then get out of here. Depending on how they do. an easy way to dump heat. Exposure specimen. Nice. I don't know what any of these are going to be used for, but like, it's cool to have them.
Huh. That should grab it. I'm not going to title this video, like, how to dive into a maelstrom. I mean, maybe you can learn by example, but, like, I gave terrible, 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 you know. Like, instructions on how to do it. Huh. Maybe you have a better idea of how to do this, you know. And what to expect inside. The, be the best thing I can advise is stay cold, keep your wits about you. If they see you, pop a heat sink. Tuck close to the hull, you should be fine. Wait a little bit and they'll cool off. It's like you were never there. We got to see a little bit of that. There's one of the turret uh, mounts. This thing's huge. This thing's like eight miles wide or something like that. Absolutely massive. Getting the most out of this last, uh, this last collector in a bit. I keep finding these, uh, horse hull surfaces, so I might as well. Titan doesn't even know we're here. Like, it probably doesn't even feel it. At least not at first. It's like we're a mosquito almost. We'll be able to make it if we get interdicted. Though we're gonna have to, um, we're gonna have to fr uh, use a bit of jumponium. That's what we're gonna have to do.
Oh, and it's not blocked. We can just kind of eat our way out of here. I apologize for the for the steam sound effect. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the I haven't been able to figure out how to turn that off with the new uh, the new overlay. I haven't really shown. I think it's actually set to not capture the the overlays, but it's doing it anyway. So, what you're gonna do when you're coming out of here is just run. It's gonna fire another pulse at you, send you flying. a lot of speed. <sighs> now hopefully we get out of here in one piece. Hopefully. Oh, thank God. And we come away with not a bad amount of tissue samples. Yeah, we got eight of them, like half of our cargo. But like, hey, you know, this is not any sort of heavy haul operation. You want to be swift. You want to be stealthy. It's only <laughs> only by a uh, you know, the grace of the devs that you're able to fit enough stuff like this to actually make it work. I'll put the build for the ship um, down in the down in the uh, in the in the comments. Not the comments. 
it's in the, in the description. Do both um, Edie Shipyard and Coriolis, even though Coriolis apparently like... As much as I love Coriolis, it's not really being updated, which is unfortunate, because I cannot parse Edie Shipyard. Maybe I'll make more of these. Until then, cuties. You know where to find me. Twitch.tv slash mini Celeste. Uh, Manui.gay. Um, Twitter. You know. Twitter at uh, mini Celeste TV. I stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Sometimes Thursdays. From 9pm Central to late over on Twitch. And yeah, I do videos for Patreon every week. Is this going to be a Patreon video only? No. I'm actually going to put this up on uh, on YouTube. So hi YouTube, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thank you for joining me. If you, if you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. Consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. Maybe I'll do more like this in the future. Until then, bye cuties. See you later. Bye bye <laughs>